in the financial year in question, which is 2018-2019, we received a grant of 966 million rand, which is 11% more compared to the previous year, to afford us the ability to execute our additional mandate, specifically with regards to the national minimum wage. And I can confirm to you that this expanded jurisdiction is not only in terms of the national minimum wage, it also has to do with the Basic Conditions of Employment Act, which includes the jurisdiction and the power for us to, to be able to enforce outstanding payments uh, on claims that are brought to us directly by the members of the public and also those that are brought to us by the Department of Labor. You'll, it will be of interest to you to note because it's always been a question on what the caseload of the CCMA is and what will be the impact of this new jurisdiction in the functioning of the CCMA. I can present to you that in the year in question, the CCMA received a total of 193,732 cases in the 2018-2019 financial year, compared to the 186,902 uh, referrals of the preceding financial year. Of the total cases that I've just mentioned now, approximately 71% relate to unfair dismissals, followed by 11% on unfair labor practices. And I must also add, because it is always important to identify who is the most referring sector? Because that is important for purpose of ensuring that as we receive these disputes, we must be able to zoom in and see which area is more problematic in terms of the cases referred. So I can confirm to you that the business and professional sector remained the highest referring sector, uh, sitting at 27%, and followed closely by the security sector, uh, which comes second highest, accounting for 12%, and then followed by the retail sector, which is sitting at 11%. Now, our projection for 2019 and 2020 is that this caseload that I've just presented, it is projected to increase by 25%. This is due to the new jurisdiction that I alluded to relating to the national minimum wage and the basic conditions of employment. I may just add also that this new jurisdiction, which effectively, especially the national minimum wage and the basic conditions of employment act, commenced on the 1st of January 2019. And prior to that, the jurisdiction of the CCMA was expanded also to deal with matters of employment equity, which includes matters of harassment, violence, and sexual harassment. That, on its own, has also added to our caseload. Over and above that, we were fresh from the 2015 amendments, which brought in the issue relating to the labor broker, so you recall Section 198, which then increased also our caseload. So as matters stand, we seem to be quite condemned in caseload increased due to legislative reforms, which are necessary. But as the CCMA, as an institution established in terms of the Act, we take that with both hands. One important function that is very important for the CCMA is that of collective bargaining. This has to do with strikes that we have to deal with. Now, the CCMA dealt with 5,160 matters of mutual interest dispute during the reporting period, representing a 10% increase compared to the previous financial year. These figures suggest a high level of labor market trust and reliance on the CCMA to facilitate collective bargaining. But what is important also to mention there is that these type of matters are not only limited to the CCMA. You find the same processes running in the bargaining councils that I alluded to earlier where industry and sector-specific disputes are referred there. In the future, 
you are going to see a consolidated report which will include reports that come from the collective bar from the uh, bargaining councils so that we can have a true picture of the conflictual, conflictual nature of our labor market. Of, of the 187 public interest matters dealt with in terms of section 150 of the Labor Relations Act, the CCMA settled 160 cases resulting in 87% success, success rate in resolving such matters. You can imagine a, a society, a labor market, that does not have this type of intervention from the CCMA, the type of labor market you're going to have in terms of the dispute and in terms of the conflicts. It is for these reasons why we as the CCMA take pride together with the staff, the interpreters, the commissioners and the board that we have managed to do such um, interventions and be able to have an 87 success rate in resolving such disputes.